My wife and I were vacationing in Venice, Italy, and we were told to go to the Cipriani Hotel for a drink. It's a beautiful place. So we're waiting at the dock to go over there. It's on a little island. And there are two young women, women dressed in white. I was sure they were from California. And uh, one of them finally came up to me and said, aren't you Judge Wapner? I said, yes. May we take your picture? Yes. We now go over to the island. My wife and I order a drink, and we're sitting there sipping the drink, and in walks this gorgeous hunk of a man. And I said, Mickey, that's O.J. Simpson. And I said, he walks over, and I walked up to him, and I said, O.J., I want to tell you, you're a hero of mine. I said, I went to SC, and I used to watch you play football all the time. And blah, blah. He said, no, Judge Wapner, you're my hero. He said, my girlfriend and my son watch you every day after school. That was Nicole who took my picture. I did the first case of cameras in the courtroom in the Superior Court. There was one camera only, and it was at the end of the jury box focusing on me and on the witness, never on the jury. And it worked fine. The jury came in with a verdict, and the case was done well. Didn't bother anybody. Nobody looked around at the camera. But for years and years and years, as I recall, lawyers and judges refused to allow cameras in the courtroom. Don't you think it helped in the OJ case? for cameras to see what was going on to, and what, what, they did, what many did wrong in that case mm -hmm. and learned by it, by not doing it. It wasn't the cameras at fault. It was the, quote, actors. I don't mean actors in the sense of, that we're talking about. I'm talking about the, the participants mm -hmm. as the actors of the case.